you know CapCut still isn't safe, right? The TikTok ban is not over, and in that we have Lemonade, CapCut, and TikTok all going away. Now we were given an extension of time that we were going to have these apps. And while the whole world kind of forgot we're not gonna have access to these tools in a month, I didn't and I got to work. What other apps can I use? Well, today I am so excited to show you guys this app called Filmora. And from trying it myself, it's actually incredible and I can't wait to show you guys it today. I do wanna thank Filmora for sponsoring this video and let's get into how much cleaner and easier and quicker and better editing is on Filmora. You can download Filmora for free Read right now in the description box to get used to it. I know I'm probably talking to a lot of people who use it, but if you were like me and only using CapCut, this is a solid and dare I say better alternative. You can find it on Windows, on Mac, on iOS and Android. It is very accessible. Let me tell you all about it. Filmora is really easy to use. I'm just gonna show you guys this today with a very basic travel video and how you can get the most out of your editing experience in a more efficient way with Filmora versus CapCut. I wouldn't consider myself a complete beginner, but Filmora does cater to beginners all the way to professionals. There is a starting point for everyone's expertise level. I think something that makes Filmora stand out against other competitors are the AI capabilities and the rich templates, the effects that you can use in your videos, which we'll get into today. I think one thing you're gonna notice in our editing today is how like nitpicky you need to be when you edit, opposed to Filmora when you switch here, you're like, oh my gosh, why was I wasting so much time editing like that? It's it's just more organic and more natural in Filmora and it just makes your life so much easier. Like I have stuff to do. I don't wanna spend all day editing. Editing can take hours. So let's get into this video. Okay, before we actually work on editing, I wanna show you guys my favorite feature I've used on this. So this is an AI reel maker. So it makes your reels without you having to do the annoying editing. This is one of my favorite features because I used to just spend so much time on my reels. And by the way, in case this wasn't clear, I personally pay with my own money for Filmora Pro. So this is not just like, oh, they paid for it. I'm yapping about it. I've spent money on editing software. I've been doing content for nine years. I know what makes it easier and what makes it harder. This is something that I really believe in. So our video is done. It's a 20 second video. I was talking while <laughs> it was playing. So let's just see what music they played. As a base edit, this is exactly what I need. One, the cuts are quick. Two, it's like, it's storytelling. Like when I'm sitting here uh, drinking my green juice, about to take a shot, and you see me take it from the guy, and then it cuts to me about to drink it. Like those are needed. And again, I can go into project edit and get really into it. But all the things, like if you're really new to editing, so the things that you're not seeing right now are all in this space. You're like, well, why would you play that first if you're at a farmer's market? Because all right here, this is where I'm going to make the video. Um, hey, uh, let's spend a day at a farmer's market. And then that text will pop up, which we're not going to get too into because we're going to show you that in the travel video. I just want to show you like how easy this AI editor is. And then you can just go crazy from there. You can add more effects, you can add transitions, you can add opening and closings. Like there's so much for you to add here. And if you are a CapCut Pro, you're used to a lot of these features. They have them in this app as well. It's a fantastic alternative. So we're gonna do a travel video. Now the purpose of this video will be something that I can do a voiceover for. So we're looking for something that is visually appealing. We're gonna go in and edit it like I typically would to post. So let's check it out. So I'm gonna select all the videos. I like to do this because I don't know what I want in there and what I don't. What I'm looking for is a specific timeline. I'm looking for about a one minute video, so as many clips as possible. So after that, we're gonna import them. It's gonna go pretty fast. If the videos are already downloaded on your phone, this is, it's gonna go pretty fast. While this is a super solid way to get editing, you can just drag in, it's great. While we're gonna edit like you're used to editing, one of my favorite features that makes editing so much quicker than on CapCut is this one right here. So we're gonna just take this croissant class I was in, right? Instead of having to like split it and then delete it, watch this, this is my favorite feature. It just deletes. You click one button and deletes everything from before. And then watch this. Okay, say I only want like a little, quick thing of it, right? Boom, it deletes everything after. This sounds so minuscule, but when you're sitting here, I have 28 clips in here. So when you're sitting here editing 28 clips, those little buttons of not having to click it and delete it saves so much time. Our video right now is two minutes and 16 seconds. We want it down to one minute of very fast clips. That way I can do my voiceover and everything and it's fine. 
So as you can see, this clip is not properly adjusted. So we're gonna just take it, drag. It's super easy to fix. You don't have to go into aspect ratio, TikTok size, like it's just so much easier. Okay, keep going. This beautiful video of Paris. This one's cool, but I feel like I could move it. So again, drag and drop really easy. And the one thing I like about this one too is when you drag and drop, it quick, it makes everything the same size. So for instance, in CapCut, everything is, every clip is going to be a different size. So you're gonna have to like drag longer. These little minuscule things, they sound so nitpicky, but I promise you it will make your editing more efficient when you look at the bigger pictures. The main thing I like about editing in this software instead of CapCut is the, e the use of ease. Like there's a toggle bar on top of the toggle bar that has the main functions you're gonna need. For instance, I wanna duplicate this clip because I wanna also put it in the beginning of my video. The duplicate button's right there. The duplicate button's right there and then I can boom, drag to the front. Boom, and now it's in the front of my video too. All right, let's keep going. That's cool. We're gonna delete that. That's pretty pretty okay we're gonna delete that that's cool that's cool we're gonna delete there that's cool but there was dirt in the front we're just gonna delete there i don't like that clip at all you see i don't have to like i don't have to go to the bottom toggle bar because everything is right here uh the notre dame that's cool we'll delete the rest there i don't even know what that is we'll just delete that whole clip just real vibey. You see how I don't even turn till there, so we're gonna delete everything in the front. Now there is 17 seconds we can delete out of here too, so I'm gonna delete that. Boom, there's our video we did from earlier. Boom, okay, it got cleaner the second half, so we just have to press that one button. Boom, and our video is a minute and seven seconds. That's good enough for now. And I already know my video is fun things I like to experience in Paris. And I'm gonna be talking about this croissant class. I'm gonna be talking about visiting the Louvre. I'm gonna be talking about visiting the Eiffel Tower, walking around, touring. So uh, I have already placed these videos in here with my own editing style and how I'm gonna like to talk about it. Okay, so the next thing I like to do are the filters. We'll just pick a random one for now. The one thing I cannot do in CapCut, which drives me insane, is apply it to all. Now in CapCut, I have to save my video, export my video, re-put it back into CapCut just to go apply a filter to one. Otherwise, if I stayed in the original video, I have to go one by one by one by one by one and put the filter in or apply the filter before editing. And as you guys are able to see, this beautiful filter has been applied to every video. It looks so much better than just the raw images and I was able to do it in one button. It drives me nuts nuts when you have to export and then do this. Seriously, it's so silly. But this just added so much vibrancy and this isn't even me editing anything specific. Like if you really want to, I'm gonna show you just because I can. If you really want to, you can go to this adjust section and go mess with the saturation, the contrast, the sharpness. My personal favorite hack is just picking a really good filter. Just to show you my text, we're gonna say <clears throat> my five favorite things to do in Paris. So now kind of same thing. You can go pick your art, you can go pick your animation. Typewriter is really popular. So here you can mess with everything, the font, the border, the everything. So right now we're gonna be putting it, we're just gonna keep it in system so it looks like I did it in TikTok. So my five favorite things to do in Paris and that's good. And then we're gonna go to one of my other favorite things to do. So now we're gonna go add a sound effects I like this, this double pop, pop. So, boom. So my five favorite things to do in Paris with this. Pop, pop, boom. And you can go in, add effects. Let's do my voiceover. So I'm actually gonna do the same voiceover for both videos, so let's. Here are my top five favorite things to do in Paris. Starting off strong, I love to see the sights. And one of my favorite things to do is to go to the Louvre. I've been here a multitude of times. I'm so grateful that I've been able to, but there's always something to see. It reminds me it's the heart of Paris. I also love to go to the Eiffel Tower and just walk, walk, walk. Yes, there is amazing public transportation, but there's something so beautiful about walking and just seeing the Eiffel Tower everywhere you turn. There are very historic landmarks here like the Notre Dame, the Sacre-Cœur, 
and the Moulin Rouge. The best part is just running into them sometimes. There is so much culture and diversity here that I just don't feel like I get in America. So I never take for granted the opportunity to walk around and take in what I'm seeing. Number three is really good food. There is good food on every corner, so make sure you don't miss out. Number four are the historic buildings and taking in their architecture. And number five is practicing my French, my absolute favorite language to learn. Here are my top five things to do in Paris. Let me know what you want to try. Now, watch this. Now we're going to go add the captions so fast. That probably took like 10 seconds to load. So we're going to go ahead and listen to it. Here are my top five favorite things to do in Paris. Another thing I have an issue with in CapCut is everything. I mean, I love CapCut, but this is just a better because everything in CapCut is always misspelled. So we're gonna, um, this is not, but what I wanna do is change the style because there's so many different things we can do. I want something just a little bit cleaner for my Paris videos. So we're gonna just select them all, apply. Another thing, this makes it really easy if you just wanna change specific captions. And we're gonna move them down. Okay. Top five favorite things to do. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. So let's add some audio, music, some fun. Love it. Let's go ahead and add this one. And we are going to turn it down just a little bit. We're going to have it fade in Here and fade out. Top five. And, we're gonna my... and we're going to turn it down a lot. Top five favorite things to do in Paris. Starting off strong, I love to see. The last thing I'm going to do is at the Eiffel Tower, I'm just going to go add a quick little heart sticker just because I love it. And I just want to show you guys how easy it is to add stickers. But there's always So we're going to add the sticker. I want the sticker to pop up like here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the diamond tool, back up, move it out the frame, diamond tool, and it should we'll swing see. in. But there's always something to see. It reminds me it's not. It's so easy. And then we're going to just trim it. And here are the results of both videos. Here are my top five favorite things to do in Paris. Starting off strong, I love to see the sights. And one of my favorite things to do is to go to the Louvre. I've been here a multitude of times. I'm so grateful that I've been able to, but there's always something to see. It reminds me it's the heart of Paris. I also love to go to the Eiffel Tower and just walk, walk, walk. Yes, there is amazing public transportation, but there's something so beautiful about walking and just seeing the Eiffel Tower everywhere you turn. There are very historic landmarks here like the Notre Dame, the Sacre Coeur, and the Moulin Rouge. The best part is just running into them sometimes. There's so much culture and diversity here that I just don't feel like I get in America. So I never take for granted the opportunity to walk around and take in what I'm seeing. Number three is really good food. There is good food on every corner, so make sure you don't miss out. Number four are the historic buildings and taking in their architecture. Number five is practicing my French, my absolute favorite language to learn. Here are my top five things to do in Paris. Let me know what you want to try. And by the way, this entire video was edited in Filmora. If you've been using CapCut and you feel like it's been holding you back or you just want something easier and faster, Filmora is honestly a game changer and I can't wait for you to try it yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, this is not over until it's over. So download Filmora for free. Get your hands used to working with something new. I promise you're gonna love it and be prepared for whatever happens with this TikTok ban. Good luck and good luck in your content. Yeah.